Hey folks, welcome back to another video about automation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can build a very personalized and scalable outreach campaign using just one powerful tool. So let's get started. Okay, so this is clay.com. Um, this is their landing page and you can easily sign up and create a free account so you can start using all their capabilities, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start a blank table. So I'm, I'm gonna show you how you can start creating um, your database from scratch, okay? So here on this table, I'm gonna start just with the name. So with the person's name, you're gonna start by searching for that person's LinkedIn profile. Okay, and then we're gonna use the LinkedIn profile to find all their data points for that specific person. Okay, you're gonna see that I'm just starting with the person's name. Um, I'm gonna add my name here to use it as, a, as an example. I'm gonna click on the plus um, sign here and click on add enrichment. And now I'm gonna look for what I need from LinkedIn, so basically, Sorry, basically everything that you are seeing here are the different actions that you can use to start enriching your database here. Okay, so Clay has connection with, with different data sources that you can use directly um, inside Clay to start adding more data to your database. Okay, um, so in this case, I want to use the LinkedIn. So find an enriched person from Google search. So I'm gonna click on search query. I'm gonna get just the name of the person that I'm looking for. Of course, if you have more data points, for example, if you have the name of the person or the company and the company of that specific person, you can add here as well. And then you can continue to add fields. So um, in, for this example, I want the LinkedIn URL. So I want this um, action to find me the LinkedIn URL, the organization, so the company name, maybe the title, and then also the summary of this person on LinkedIn, okay? I'm gonna save and run this for my name. I'm gonna see that it's gonna start running here and looking for um, this person's LinkedIn information, okay? So you can see that this is me, you have my LinkedIn URL here, organization name, my title, and my summary, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is to find this person's company email address, okay? Because then imagine that you're gonna do a cold email campaign, you're gonna need this person's cold email, um, you, you're gonna need this person's email address. And in order to do that, you have many different options here, okay? You have many different data sources that you can select, you can choose to try to find your company email address. So if you click on emails here, Clay will give you all the different options that you have to look for this person's email, okay? You have work email, you have personal email. So let's click on work email and they, they give you all these different data sources here let's say that I just want to select one. So let me just select clay enrichment. So it's clay on database here. Okay. So here now what I'm going to do. So here I'm going to select uh, the data source that I want. You can use all of them. So if you if you can find the email on one data source, you can try to find in the other ones as well. But for this example, I'm gonna use just one, so clay on data source. And the input of this search is gonna be the LinkedIn URL that I just that, that I just got there. And I have the URL here. I'm gonna save and run. So this is gonna run and find my email address here. Okay, so let's wait to, to see if okay, it couldn't find the email address from this specific um, data source. Now, what, what I'm gonna do is to find the company domain because the company domain is gonna be important for then 
uh, for you to find um, the work email or the person that you are looking for, okay? So let me add enrichment and then let me click on domains. You have these options here. So let me find domain from company name and the company name is going to be the organization from LinkedIn. The field is going to be the domain. I just want the domain. Okay. When I save it, it's going to run. Okay. So you can see that the domain was found. So I have the domain now. Next step is to add an enrichment and find my work email. Okay. So you can click on emails and um, you have all these different um, data sources here, but you can just click on work email and then clay suggest different data sources that you can use to find the work email that, that you need. Okay. You can use all of them. So I'm going to just use all of them just to show you uh, because sometimes one data source can't find the work email that you need. And when that happens, when, when that happens, you can try to find with the other data sources. Okay. Um, the full name, it's going to be the, I have, so the, the name of the person. So the first input here and the company domain is a domain that we just found here. Okay. As the domain. Okay. So I'm going to save and run for the first row here. Just one second. Okay. You can see that this is running for all these different data sources here. And let's see if they can find the email that I need for this person. Okay. So as you can see, my email wasn't found. Okay. And why that happened? Because actually my work email doesn't use my company's domain. My work email is this one here. So let me show you. So this is my work email. And I did that to show you that at the same time that Clay and these different data sources, they're looking, they're trying to find the work email. They're also validating the email. And that's really important for the success of your outreach campaign. So um, it would be very easy for this data source to just find an email like add at xanimation.co, okay? But that isn't my email. So you can see that they say that they, a valid email was, wasn't found. So because this is actually my email, okay? And this is really, really important when you are trying to enrich a new database, okay? Okay, now that I have um, all the data that I need for this person, now I'm going to write an email using AI. And here you can easily find ready to use AI's template. You can click it, you can click on browse template and you can have, for example, email first lines that you can use to make your outreach campaign way more personalized. Okay. Um, so let's say that you want to use the job title to write the first, the first line. Let me click it. Let me go to find the title, LinkedIn summary here, and let me use this template. Let me run it. So now the AI is generating the customized email copy that you can use on your outreach campaign. And you can click it to open. And this is a first line that you can use to add to your email copy. So as the automation expert, I would imagine you focus on streamlining and automating businesses, business processes. Okay. And you can use this, of course, for all your database to send a great, a high volume of personalized outreach campaigns. Okay. Now, as you can see, you have all the data that you need to start your outreach campaign. As the last step, one thing that you can do also is to click here. And you can also start, you can connect Clay with your um, email, email too. So let's say that you're using Smartly. Smartly is a very well-known cold email tool, or you are using Lemlist or any other one here. You can, of course, this will require for you to upgrade your plan, but you can connect this database with your campaign. You can add lead to your campaign here. Okay. That will make your entire process 
very, very automated, okay? Because here, as, as you can see, you have all the data that you need to reach out to this person in a very personalized and customized way using AI. And once you start adding people's names here, so let's try to add Bill Gates. All the other data points will start automatically to, um, to search and to find the data points that you need, right? So we can have Bill Gates here, his LinkedIn, he's trying to find um, his domain, now it's trying to find his work email, uh, and then it's gonna it's gonna create the AI the AI email copy that, that you can use. So you all you have to do here is to add all the people's names that you want to reach out to, and everything else will happen. And if if you have the last column to send the lead to your campaign then that lead will be sent to your campaign automatically. So you don't have to do anything. All you have to do again is just to add the, the person that you want, the person's name that you want to reach out to here. So the email was found and the, the AI copy was generated, okay? As you can see, you are doing everything in just one place. That's why Clay is so powerful because you don't have to use many different tools to start enriching your database. All I have to do is to create your table here, just add the people's names that you want to reach out to and the magic will happen automatically. Okay, hope you like clay.com. Hope you could see how powerful this tool is, especially on building outreach campaigns with AI and automation. As always, if you have any questions or if you wanna see how automation can help your business scale, please click on the link down below so we can get on a call and I can show you many case studies and examples of the power of automation and AI. Thank you.